Hey, hey, I can see you. <laughs> That's the progress. That's the progress. Welcome in day four in our five days workshop. And today we are going to talk about another thing that is destroying your hormones, which is the contraception pill. If you are on the pill, please, this video is not me having a go at you, not telling you how horrible you are. I just want to pass the information because the doctors are not going to tell you that. And at the end of the video, I want you to make the notes if you need that. If you need, pause it, make a screenshot, write it down and confront your doctor. Okay? Because everything what I'm going to tell you, it's true. And it's very, very likely that you've never been told that before. And it's not some kind of conspiracy. The doctors just generally don't want to talk about the side effects of the pill. And it's very dangerous because they are giving the pills to us and the girls to correct our hormonal imbalances, apparently. But you can't do that because the hormonal pills, they are synthetic. They are not natural. So I want to talk to you today about how the pill is messing up with your hormones. So you might recognize some symptoms that you've been thinking before, oh, it's endometriosis, but maybe, maybe it's the pill, not endo. So let's start. Birth control uh, pills elevate cortisol level. Cortisol level is your stress response, okay? If you hear a long time, you know that the higher stress level, the more inflammation in your body. And our job is to lower inflammation so our body have a good opportunity to heal. And birth control elevate the cortisol level. So hello, stress. And it's lower testosterone. So goodbye, sex drive. <laughs> Can you relate? Have you been on the pill and you just lost all, you know, desire completely? This is not you, this is the pill. Low testosterone problems can remain even after stopping oral contraception, putting you at increased risk for long-term sexual and brain health, mental health problems. Uh, girls who are on the pill for a long time, they are more likely to have a brain fog. So if you're thinking like, oh my God, you know, I can't just collect my my mind, you know, my mind is wandering somewhere. I keep forgetting things. This is might be the side effect of the pill. Birth control pills disrupt your body's normal hormone production with synthetic version of estrogen and progesterone called progestin, which suppress ovulation. It's basically trick your body into thinking that it's pregnant all month. This is what the pill does. It's tricking your body into thinking that you are pregnant. This is all the pill does. It's not like miracle cure for endometriosis. Your body is just thinking you are pregnant. So it behaves this way. But the moment when you stop the pill, this is the moment when all your problems going to come back. So is it worth it? You, you have to make that choice. If, you, if, if endometriosis give you a lot of um, mental health problems, because it does, then you might consider to go on pill, knowing all the side effects, just to have like, you know, few few months or few weeks, even, even one month, like peace of mind then that it's okay but i want you to know and understand long-term side effects okay so women who are taking birth control pill release more of the substance called thyroid hormone binding globulin this is very important because a lot of the girls have problems with thyroid as well this hormone this substance binds to your thy thy thyroid hormones so that less for your body to function well, such as uh, less energy, uh, not that healthy hair, a breakdown of the skin and ability to lose weight. So if you've got the problems with uh, one of those or even many, it might be not endometriosis, it might be the pill. Mm -hmm. Levels of testosterone can drop by as much as 61% in the woman taking birth control pills. 
as testosterone is very necessary for energy, mental clarity, healthy bones, confidence, strength, and muscle building, this can be bad news for your body. But you're going to tell me, Yola, you've got the different kind of pills. You've got the testosterone, uh, you've got the estrogen pills, which a doctor shouldn't be prescribing you because every other girl have too high estrogen. So where is the point? And you've got also progesterone uh, pills. But all of them are synthetic. They are synthetic hormones. Okay. Your body have something uh, your body wants to be in the state of the balance. So that means if your body have excess of some hormones, your body will do it, its best and flush it out. Uh, your liver can process the hormones. Your body can get rid of excess estrogen. But if you keep taking synthetic hormones for a long time, years after years after years, your body will have a problem of getting rid of excess, you know, hormones. And they are synthetic hormones, they're not natural. When you are taking daily doses of synthetic hormones, your body register that you are getting unusually high level of estrogen or progesterone or both through your cycle. And as your brain perceive an upset in your hormonal balance, it will try to correct it somehow this excess by shutting down production of your natural estrogen and progesterone. That's why it's literally the pill is messing with your natural hormonals, you know, balance. <sighs> and then you go another thing, which is the uh, egg quality and the ovaries. Uh, if you're trying for the baby, uh, the pill have a very, uh, unusual <laughs> side effects that doctor is not going to tell you. In younger woman, ovaries level, uh, there's some hormones called anti-Mullerian hormone and another hormone called EFC. So those levels tend to be high in normal girls. But if the woman is taking the pill for many, many years, it can be from 16 to 90% lower. What that means? That means that the synthetic hormones in the pills affecting and aging even prematurely your ovaries. So instead of having a big egg reserve, your egg reserve with every month of taking the pill, your egg reserve is going down, 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 down. According to the research from the University of Liverpool, the pill might also disrupt a woman's ability to choose a partner genetically dissimilar to herself, potentially increasing the risk of having a child with genetic abnormalities. That means that the man you normally would never look at twice on the street, if you are on the pill, you might be attracted to this type of man. And some girls are even finding when they get off the pill and they look at the excess, they're like, oh, what I've been thinking? And it's not you. And it's not your like bad luck when it comes to men and your love life. This is the pill. This is how the pill is affecting your hormones and your choices as well. We are almost at the end, my lovely. Just stay it with me. Okay. Another very important thing is your glands glands they are very important for your overall health and wellness the glands are communicating with each other but sadly the pill disrupts this balance and prevents the glands uh, to stop working as they should and communicate as they should then the messages your body receives from the outside world get confused and your body don't work uh, and your glands they don't work as they should your glands just can't communicate effectively anymore, which literally throws your body off the balance absolutely completely. So the best thing you can do here is to be your own advocate. I love you so much, but now it's going to be time for tough love. No one is coming to save you, girl. Your job is to educate yourself, be your own advocate. Don't have stupid guru syndrome. And I used to have that for like 20 years. I was so afraid to tell my doctor to uh, actually stand up for myself. No, this is your health. This is your future. If you want to be a mother, 
This is the future of your family. The stakes are so high, girl. You have to be your own advocate, okay? So take everything what you learned today. I know it was much because it's like 10 minutes, but please take everything, do your own research and stand up for yourself. Ask your doctor about the side effect of the pill, okay? I hope those days, those four days, were uh, good enough for you to connect the dots and see which thing you might be doing that are throwing your hormones off the balance because endometriosis is too high estrogen. If we, you can correct your hormones naturally and tomorrow is the last day and I'm going to talk to you about how close your homeware and even candles can affect your hormonal levels. So please stay with me for this last day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, what did you learn so far? I see you very shortly. Bye.